Hello learner, welcome again to yet another lesson. We are still looking at form 3 chemistry and we are looking at chapter 2 that is the topic uh, known as the mole and we are going to look at the subtopic dilution of solutions. So I'll be your teacher, I'm teacher Alice and this will be our part seven okay so we are looking at dilution of solutions and today and we begin by defining the term dilution so what is dilution so dilution is a process uh, of reducing concentration of a solution by adding more solvent while keeping the amount of solute constant so that is what we call dilution, just reducing the concentration. And by reducing concentration, we add small solvent. And for our case, we do add the solvent to be water. We use water to dilute solutions. So when we want to reduce the concentration of solutions, we add more solvent to the solution as we keep the amount of solute constant so we don't add the solute we don't add more solute when we are diluting so we just add more solvent and for that case we use water so we have been dealing with concentration so we defined concentration earlier uh, as the to refer to the amount of solute dissolved in a given amount of solvent uh, we saw that concentration, it is usually represented or expressed in terms of moles per liter. So we saw concentration to be expressed in moles per liter or as a percentage. We saw uh, while we were working on molarity and concentration, we looked at concentration being given in terms of moles per liter or also in percentages. So when we come to dilution, we use a formula to calculate either the concentration uh, after diluting a solution or maybe the volume of the solvent that we are going to add so that we can dilute a solution to a given molarity or to a given concentration. So the dilution formula relates to four things that is the concentration one or concentration before diluting concentration two which we call c2 that is the final concentration after adding water or after adding the solvent then we have volume one which we call the initial volume this is the volume that was present in the solution or the, the initial volume of the solution before adding the solvent or before diluting and then we have volume two which is the volume after diluting that is the final volume so after we add our solvent or after we dilute the final volume is what we call v2 so the dilution formula is here we say that c1 times v1 that is concentration one times volume one or the initial concentration times the initial volume should be equal to concentration two that is c2 that is final concentration multiplied by final volume which you are calling v2 so c1 times v1 should be equal to c2 v2 so that is what we call the dilution formula okay so we are going to use this formula in so in we are going to be needed to use this formula to calculate either the initial concentration the final concentration or the volume required to be added the volume of the solvent required to be added uh, to the solution in order to dilute it to a certain concentration so we are just it is a very simple formula it is not complicated so use it as it is to find what is missing okay so now 
we can look at a few examples and we have our example one here and we are told uh, you have 500 milliliters solution of hydrochloric acid with a concentration of two molar so this is what we have we have 500 ml of hcl so 500 ml is our initial volume that is v1 okay then we have the the initial concentration what we are calling the c1 so the initial concentration is two molar so we have two molar of hydrochloric acid then we want to dilute this solution to get a concentration of 0 0.5 molar so 0 0.5 molar is our final concentration what we are calling c2 now the question is what volume of water should we add to this solution so that we get a a solution with with a um, concentration of 0 0.5 molar so we have our formula the dilution formula we have said it is c1 times v1 should be equal to c2 v2 so from what we have in our question we have c1 to be 2 molar that is 2 and then v1 to be 500 ml so 2 times 500 should give us the final concentration which is c1 and we are given as 0 0.5 molar then times v2 that is volume 2. So, what now we are missing or the unknown is simply V2. So, we have to use, to use the formula to get, to use what we have to get so that we can find what we are missing. In this case, we are missing V2. So, to get V2 here, we have to divide 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 molar on both sides so that we can be left by v2 on this side so we are dividing 0 0.5 here we can divide here by 0 0.5 molar then on this side we are also going to divide by 0 0.5 0 0.5 so this 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 molar will cancel and now we shall be having v2 to be 2 molar times 500 ml uh, divided by 0 0.5 molar. And you see this molar and this molar, this m and this m will cancel. So we shall have 2 times 500 divided by 0 0.5. And the answer we are going to get will be in, in what? In milliliters. So the answer was 2,000 2, milliliters, which is the same as 2 liters. So to dilute a uh, two molar solution of hydrochloric acid to 0 0.5 we need to add another 1500 ml so that we can make the final volume to be what to be two liters so never forget to subtract it was five the, the initial volume was 500 and the final volume should be 2000 so what we should be finding is for the amount of water we are adding not the final volume so after we get the final volume we subtract from the initial volume so that we see the amount of solvent or the amount of water we are going to add to that solution so we have 2000 ml the final volume subtract 500 ml the initial volume now it is giving us 1500 ml uh, which is 1.5 liters so 1.5 liters of water should be added to this solution to dilute it from 2 molar to 0 0.5 molar that is how we use the dilution formula okay let's look at another example we have example 2 we are told we have 100 milliliters solution of sodium hydroxide solution it has a concentration of 0 0.4 molar 
So we are being asked how much water should we add to dilute it to a concentration of 0 0.1 molar. Okay, so we ask ourselves which is our C1 or our initial concentration. So our initial concentration is 0 0.4 molar. Our initial volume that is V1 is 100 ml. So we had a volume of 100 milliliters. So that is our volume 1. Then do we have volume 2? Yes. Sorry, concentration 2? Yes, we have 0 0.1 molar so c2 is 0 0.1 molar again what we are not be missing uh, is v2 that is final volume so to get the final volume we have everything else so here we just need to divide here by 0 0.1 molar and also the other side divide by 0 0.1 molar so v2 will be giving us 400 ml or 400 milliliters so 400 milliliters will be the final solution of sodium hydroxide. So this is not what we are required to do. So the next step is to subtract. So if the, the initial volume was 100, and now we have seen that the final volume should be 400. So what should we add? So we have to subtract 400 final volume minus 300 initial volume so that we can get 300 milliliters so we need to add 300 milliliters of water to a solution of sodium hydroxide so that to dilute it from a concentration of 0 0.4 molar to a concentration of 0 0.1 molar simple as that okay so we have example three now here we are given we are told to how do we dilute 30 percent ethanol solution so that we can obtain a 10 percent ethanol solution so we have now the concentration in percentage we said we can give uh, concentration either in molarity moles per liter or as a percentage so here we have the concentration of ethanol given in percentage so we are not given the volume but for for simplicity we just use the volume the initial volume to be one liter so we left the volume of the the initial volume of ethanol which is 30 percent uh, to be one liter okay so this one liter will be our v1 then our c1 that is the initial concentration is 30 percent okay then the final concentration c2 is 10 percent so we need to get the final volume so again we have 30 percent that is 30 over 100 which is giving us 0 0.30 times one liter should give us concentration 2 that is 1 0 0.1 or 10 over 100 times volume 2 so we get volume 2 by dividing the right hand side by 0 0.1 and also the left hand side by 0 0.1 so volume 2 was giving us 3 liters now if the final volume is 3 liters and the initial volume was 1 liter the amount of water we need to add to the 30 percent ethanol will be three liters minus the one liter which is in the initial solution so we are going to subtract three minus one to get two liters so in every two liter in every one liter of 30 percent ethanol we are we are we shall we should add two liters of water so that we can obtain 10 percent of ethanol solution so that is simply how we use the dilution formula to calculate the concentration of solutions or after dilution or the volume of water we need to Use. So this is very important while preparing 
the chemistry practicals. Okay, we have a question here. Uh, we are going, you, you will do it, uh, just pause the video and try this question out using the formula, the dilution formula, you shall just get the, what is required, that is the required volume. So feel free to post this video and attempt to do that question. It is as simple as the examples we have done before. So that marks the end of our part seven, that was dilution of solutions, and the end of this lesson. So let, let's meet again in our part eight.